right, so welcome to BioData West 2018, and I'm definitely not reusing this slideshow. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about some data visualization stuff. Uh, this is a project that we did with uh, the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation, where in these three scientists, this is Patrick Gaffney, Yao Fu, and Richard Pelican, who are all brilliant uh, MDs or PhDs, and they were telling us about their paper, enhancer histone QTLs are enriched on autoimmune risk haplotypes and influence gene expression within chromatin networks. Does so anybody know what chromatin is? Ask him about chromatin after the talk, because I don't know. So we were just talking to them about, hey, how could we as data scientists and or visualization experts help you and add value to your lab? And we started to talk about visualization. Uh, this is an excerpt from their paper where they explained to us what chromatin was several times and progressively explained it like on five uh, terms. And uh, this is the current best visualization of chromatin. There's, uh, it's this long strand of biological matter that lives inside a cell, but nobody really knows exactly how it's structured. So they were trying to measure how it was structured by measuring uh, how close parts are of that strand. And so each of those arcs is these two points might be close together. So at Exaptive, we were like, I know that word. That's networks, and we make lots of those. So we have network diagrams, uh, this is RNA sequencing, this is some organizational data, and I think this was like uh, top 40 hits. So we make big network diagrams, small network diagrams, all over the place. So we're like, okay, that's totally a network diagram and we can model it that way. Um, this is a 3D reconstruction of chromatin in full, and I'm surprised that they needed help because this is very straightforward and easy to understand. So we started thinking about good visualizations and subway maps came to mind, largely because of the colored strands. And we we're like, oh, we totally get it. Um, and subway maps do something really interesting, which is they take complex GIS data. And when they actually display them to users to use, they preserve those relationships. And it's easily understood to represent the thing on the left. But this is much easier to parse and wrap your head around what's close to what. This is going to turn left eventually, and people can understand it. So we were trying to figure out what is the subway map jump that we can take from that big hairball and turn it into something useful. So we started using 3JS, which I'm sure a bunch of you are familiar with, um, and we decided to let them take snippets of chromatin, which is uh, you put in a subset for the genome and you put stuff in. I'm gonna skip forward because there's some videos if you wanna see them, talk to me later. And what we came up with is a snake, is what we called it, and they could toggle on those arcs on and off, and that puts those two pieces of the chromosome together. And because not all of those are a for sure deal, they can toggle those on and off by probability and come up with new hypotheses for testing. And that is chromatin, how we did it in 3D at BioData West 2018. Woot. All right, and wait.